Emotive is kind of this wild technology. It's a, a way for you to control things with your mind. It has all sorts of new use cases, and I'm here at their offices today to get into it a little bit more. This goes behind your ears, uh -huh. and so you want your, your hair to be out of the way. Okay. And so we'll just put this on like on that. On the brain crown, okay. Uh-huh, and then yep. this goes behind the ear, so we'll just slide this down. Okay. So it, this is this is my brain right now. This is your brain right now. Oh my gosh. In real time. This is wild. It's it's pretty wild. And so what you're seeing is the localized activity right now and the mm -hmm. concentration of activity. So if there's a particular area that there's a huge amount of synchronization and activity, mm -hmm. then you'll see it light up. So right now we're seeing a lot of activity there in the frontal and then parietal occipital. So parietal occipital because is... Because I'm watching this. Yeah, so we can look at facial expressions. So mm -hmm. we can tell if you're blinking, you're winking, looking left and right, furrowing your eyebrows, raising them in surprise, smiling, mm -hmm. um, clenching your teeth because you might be nervous. So all of those things we can detect very, very easily. Emotive has been prototyping its wireless EGG technology for the past few years. Proven in the research sector, they are now developing a consumer product for market. So this is a really simple use case scenario where the idea is I can just wheel this car mm -hmm. to drive forward just with my thoughts. The way that the detections work is that you show the machine learning algorithms how you think about driving the car forward. So right, but you, but so I mean, when you're actually wearing it, uh -huh. like, and you, do you have to think stop? No, I have to just try and get back out of that. You have zone. to just stop thinking. Yeah, you just got to stop thinking about it and get back to some other sort of normal, normal oh, how weird. slot. But and when so, you, but when you start, but when you're like the the thing about it is, it's hard to get into the zone. And uh -huh. so when you're in the zone, you kind of stay in the zone for a little while longer. Uh -huh. um, but what's that, what do you so mean in the zone? Like, do you think go go go? No, I actually visualize. Um, so when I'm training, I'm visualizing a cube moving into the distance. You're and actually, oh, so you're training your brain to think of movement. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm usually, uh, the machine learning algorithms are picking up what my brain looks like when I'm thinking about moving this little cube uh -huh. into the distance. That, that trigger is sent to the car and it drives it forward. What can people do with this other than drive a car with their mind? What are the oh, other there uses? are so many different use cases, but there, there's also other detections that we can glean from the device. So emotional states, for example, we can use it for neurofeedback, for uh, market research, for neuromarketing. There's a whole range of yeah. Different what does that things. mean, like neuromarketing? We were talking about this a little bit, but um, you were saying something about someone sees the car and marketing people can see that they really like the car. Yeah, so normally when you... <laughs> Which is really weird. The normal typical paradigm uh -huh. for market research is you get a lot of people together in a context and then you ask them a bunch of questions. Uh -huh. Now instead of asking them a lot of questions, you can just let them go into a shopping center and observe their behavior uh -huh. and observe, observe their brain. So you don't have to ask a lot of questions, but you get a lot of contextual information. So it's very data rich information that you can then analyze and see, well, with was the person really engaged? Uh -huh. Were they just staring at this product, but they you've lost them? And the, the final thing is with facial expressions, uh -huh. you can use it for you know controlling a character in a virtual world or something like that. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the character can be happy or sad. Yes, and you, so because you are happy or sad. Exactly. So if oh. you smile instead of walking up to another avatar uh -huh. and then typing in smiley face, you can just smile, and then it picks up that you're smiling, and it translates that to the avatar smiling. So mm. it's a lot more natural and immersive. Is anyone doing this right now? I mean, what 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 are you doing right now? So we work this? a lot with a lot of partners uh -huh. and uh, developers and researchers. And the idea is that we have a an, an SDK that's available to developers and researchers. And the idea is to encourage the community to develop a plethora of applications, very diverse range of applications, whether it be to help people to focus better, help people improve their attention, help people to you know, improve mindfulness meditation. Mm -hmm. There's just a whole range of different, uh, both consumer applications as well as commercial enterprise type applications. Emotive is actually a really cool technology and I can see that it has a lot of future applications, but right now it looks like it's in the preliminary stages. As, uh, you know, we had a few technical difficulties uh, getting the, the link from the headset to the car to go. Uh, you have to be trained on it to think about, you know, moving an object before you actually use it. So who, but it also has, I mean, a lot of really interesting applications in the future, such as, you know, studying how people in the real world, in the real marketplace are actually interacting, rather than asking for their opinion, you can actually see how they react to things. So there's a lot that you can do with it that's, um, oh, really cool and also kind of freaky, 
but I think that it has a bright future ahead of it, and I think that there's a lot that uh, that we can see coming out in the next couple of years from Emotive, and also other technologies just like it.